to do this salmon is not going to be like really complicated it's going to be super easy but i believe you guys will be able to make it at home and the way oh i'm going to make it all right yeah so um Please share the video. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right, yeah. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and please share the video. Very lovely recipe. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. How to make today. Super easy. Nothing too complicated. Alright. Okay, all right, let's jump into this now, guys, because I'm not going to be keeping it too long. All right, so we're going to we're gonna jump straight into this live and show you guys how to... So right here, I got two pieces of salmon, which I'm already... Some lemon juice and washed off. I removed the skin from it. Um, so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you have some lemon juice and, you know what I mean, lemon juice. Remove the skin from the salmon that's what i did all right because the way i'm going to be doing it you have to remove the skin all right guys it's going to be super easy now let's pour off this water all right now this salmon not going to be served with like rice or not like that this salmon going to be like Different kind of recipe today, guys. Beautiful. All right. Esther Delicious, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. So, this is how you're going to do the salmon. First thing you're going to need to do with the salmon. So, what I do, I wash it off with some lemon juice. And I remove the skin from the salmon. All right. I remove the skin from the salmon. And that's what you're going to need to do. Okay? So we're going to marinate up the salmon a little bit. Yeah, we're going to marinate up the salmon a little bit by putting a little bit of flavor and stuff on it. So first thing, I have some vegetable season. You can use your vegetable season at home. All right, guys, I'm using vegetable season use your favorite season where you like to use at home and marinate your salmon all right um i got some paprika we're gonna put a little bit of paprika because only two pieces of salmon so it's gonna be super easy and nice little bit of garlic powder all right it's only two pieces we got some fresh basil all right yeah, um, we got some fresh thyme. Let's put a little bit of fresh thyme on it. Remember, it's only two pieces of salmon, so you don't need to stress yourself too much. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to put roughly about half teaspoon of food browning on it. Oh, that's a little bit too much avocado. I don't want to be putting too much. All right. We're using some food coloring on it. All right. Then... Just to give it a little bit of color. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, marinate it up like this. Because this is salmon. You don't need a lot of stuff on it, guys. All right. It's super easy. 
All right. So you just want to make sure the salmon have a little bit of color like this. Super easy. All right. Two pieces of salmon. All right. And that's it right here so far. All right. That's that's the salmon right there. As I say, you just want a little bit of coloring on it. You don't have to stress yourself too much on the salmon. All right. Beautiful and nice. Now, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful brown stew salmon. Um, with the salmon, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to say something to you. With salmon, it doesn't take long to cook. It's a very simple recipe to cook. But the way oh, I'm going to be doing it is going to be super easy and also delicious. All right. Let's put this one side. Let's get this over here. Let's get some vegetable there. Let's get the dutchie right here. And get my knife. All right. So you're gonna see the way I do this one today. All right. Super, super nice and easy and delicious. All right, now, as I say, you guys are gonna love this the way I did it. All right, now, two things you can use light spray oil. I'm gonna have some light spray oil. Spray the front pan. Cause salmon come with a lot of fat and a lot of oil. So you wanna use some light spray oil. All right, get the cooker on. All right, so the cooker is on. All right, then what we're gonna do, let's get some garlic, two cloves of garlic in one of my garlic press. If you don't have my garlic press, you need to get it, guys. All right, here it is. That's the way the garlic come out. Straight into the pot. All right, that's the first thing we're gonna do is start it off with some garlic in the front pan. All right. And we're gonna put in a piece of a ginger. I like ginger. Gonna get a piece of a white onion, not too much. Some white onion in the pot. All right. We got some carrots. Carrot is very good for the eyesight. some spring onion all right right here we got some fresh rosemary put that fresh rosemary inside of it um, we got some fresh thyme straight inside of the pot spring onion that's your favorite, guys. Yeah. Give this a stir. Salt take off all of these in the pot. Garlic, ginger, rosemary, spring onion, white onion. You name it. You just keep naming it, guys. On and on and on. 
All right, now, we've got some, this is some red peppers and yellow pepper, three different colors pepper. We're gonna be using these. Alright. So we're gonna try our best and cook this naturally. Look at that. Sweat off all of that vegetables in that pot. And I'm gonna just tip a little bit of hot water. So that's some hot water from my kicker. We got some tomato. Don't shy. Use what you have at home. Gonna put some tomato inside of it like this. Nice. Look at that. Something different. I want to give you guys. You know what I mean? Like you guys can see what I'm doing. That is lovely. All right. Now we're gonna be tweaking it a little bit with some a few ingredients. So we're gonna be using some cumin seed. All right, guys. Cumin seed is very nice. A little bit of cumin seed. Tiny bit, not too much. We got some fennel seed. We're gonna put some fennel seed in it. Now the beautiful thing is you can just use whatever you have at home. But I have all of these kind of ingredients, so I can be able to use what I have at the moment. Now I gotta put some cloves in it. Roughly about three cloves. Pimento seed. Let's put roughly about three inside of it. Good to go. Pimento seed is good, guys. I would encourage you to use pimento seed. All right. Little bit of the dry chili. Little bit of paprika. Is your favorite? A lot of you guys use paprika at home. All right, give that a stir. We are trying to do this naturally and authentic. No sugar, no whole of salt and butter and flour and all them stuff there. Do it a little bit healthier, yeah? it's the best way. Some black pepper, some of your favorite. No salt, we burn salt in the kitchen. We're gonna put a large bay leaf, one of your favorite. Bay leaf is good for you. Do your Google search on bay leaf and you can get the 100% benefit from bay leaf. You can drink it as a bay leaf tea, you can use it in cooking. And don't be shy not to use these kind of ingredients at home, guys. Bay leaf is very good for you. Very, very, very good for you. Give it a stir. All right, tip some more water in the pot. Alright, then what we're gonna do, we got some dark food coloring. Food browning is amazing to use to give stuff coloring. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tip a tiny bit inside of it, not too much. Cause you don't want it too dark and taste bitter. Just to give it a little bit of color. Just for a little bit of color, not, that's it. Do not want to be using too much. We got a back cooker at the moment. Over there, I'm going to put some hot water in the back cooker. We're going to be serving this with some vegetables. No rice. Rice is banned in the kitchen. Even at your house, stop by rice. Rice turn into sugar in your blood, guys. Do your research on it. The more rice you eat, the more you're feeding diabetes, arthritis, and all them stuff in your body. Stop eat rice. Stop eat pasta and eat be a vegetable. 
All right, look at that. Beautiful and nice. All right, simple. Cooking it down. It's a lot of flavor and taste. Now, um, the only problem I have is this. I got a vegetable stock. This is some vegetable stock and it's also vegan. All right, I'm always using this one because it is a little bit more healthier and other air stuff all right yeah that looking good not too dark as i can see the color yeah that's looking good and you don't want to be having too much water in the pot now the vegetable stock put it into a cup like this all right just like that that's the vegetable stock then what you want to do, you just want to put a little bit of water into it like this. Not too much water. Just use a spoon. Move it around. Whisk it out. Then what you want to do, pour it into the pot. Beautiful. Simple but delicious. And that's the point of this whole cooking right here with Chef Ricardo. Now we're just going to make this boil up with that flavor and that taste and everything. Now, as a chef, you must taste your pot. So let's taste it and see what's going on. All right. Mm. Wow, that's perfect, you know, guys. The flavor. But look at that. So very, very simple and easy. Instead of you buy takeaway and you're gonna cook with a bag of oil and a bag of stuff with it, you cook something healthy at home. Alright? And that's what Chef Ricardo is all about. Healthy lifestyle with all a fat, nice, lovely beer leaf inside of the pot. Very good. Alright, now. Salmon is so easy to cook and this is what you want to do with the salmon. This is a salmon which we just marinate it up Get the salmon and just put it into the pot like this salmon get some of the vegetables and just put it on top of it from underneath the, the pot but by the other day i was doing um curry like this i do curry like this i do all sort of vegetable like this guys all sort of um cooking like this for you all right now look at that cover the pot and load that to cook for at least 10 minutes. Now you can make this at home. Once you make here one, take a picture and send it to Chef Ricardo cooking. And I really appreciate it if you can do that, guys. All right? Super easy. Big up my um, um, TikTok audience. All right? Now look at that. Beautiful, simple, but delicious. All right. And this, I didn't use oil and I didn't use any salt and I didn't use any butter, no flour and all them things there. Okay. <laughs> Beverly, happy Mother's Day. Is Sunday coming is Mother's Day or, or I don't know. Yeah, I believe so. I think it's Sunday. All right. Today is May the 5th. It's Mother's Day in Jamaica. Happy Mother's Day, man. All right, now, we're not cooking any rice because remember I told you, rice is doesn't good for you, pasta doesn't good for you, fufu doesn't good for you, yam doesn't good for you. The only thing good for you is vegetable. You might have said, what Chef Ricardo talking about? Yeah, do your Google research, guys. We got some pop chow. 
Here it is. We're going to cook them like this in the pot. All right. No salt and all them things there. Asparagus. Very good for man. Man should eat this and the ladies them should eat this. When you go to the bathroom, you will see, understand what I'm talking about. All right. This is good for your body, good for your urine, good for your kidney. Especially your kidney. You want to look after your kidney? Eat asparagus. I said to you a couple of weeks ago, go to the shop, buy a portion of this and cook them at home. We're going to cook off some of them in the pot too. All right. And that is beautiful. And you don't need any salt to cook it off. Just cook it natural. Now look at this salmon now, guys. You can't get this in no shop for buying it. You have to make this at home. All right. And as I say, it doesn't take long to cook, guys. Next time I do sweet and sour salmon for you. But I'm going to do it the healthy way. Healthy lifestyle. All right, somebody said they want to take a picture. All right, take a picture of it quickly. It's very hot. All right, <laughs> it cracks me up. You want to take a picture? Yeah, salmon is on the menu today. Um, as you can see, beautiful, lovely, and delicious. All right, simple, simple recipe, guys. Instead of you're gonna buy a takeaway, this is what you have to do at home sometime. Just do something very healthy and delicious, alright? And it doesn't take long to cook. Get some flavor from the bay leaf. Looking good. Bless up. Yummy, yummy. Thank you so much. Big up the aisle. Check her out on Instagram. Um, thank you so much, my Instagram audience. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you guys, love. And thank for the time and for the support. Um, big up my Facebook audience. I really appreciate you guys, love. 100%. All right? Over here, I'm just cooking out some pop chow and some asparagus, which is very good for you. Which I, I encourage you a lot of people to start eat. You know what I mean? Vegetable. Alright, remember, as I said, rice doesn't good for you. You know what rice do? Rice turn into sugar in your body. You might have said you never hear of that before. Pasta doesn't good for you. Pasta turn into sugar in your body. I'm gonna turn off my cooker. Because that's finished. Salmon doesn't take long to cook. And um, yeah, everything is very easy to cook right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to share up this beautiful food today. And make you guys can see exactly what Chef Ricardo has been doing. All right? Yeah, a million percent. Here it is. I got my plate. So you guys can see what's going on let's ice it up a little bit all right yeah this is what i'm talking about now let's come over here and let's come right here all right because i do not want to keep the show too long now we got some pot chow we should just boil off just now guys all right Look how this is so simple, guys. Very, very simple. Look at this. That's the pop chow. All right. No salt in the water. And to be honest, um, yeah, girl, what's going on? Long time I don't see you. Happy New Year. Happy Mother's Day. Here it is. So this is what your ladies need to start eat, special on Mother's Day asparagus very good for you all right when you go to the toilet you will understand what i'm talking about and it's very good for the kidney very good for the liver 
All right? Yes. Chef Rekha's cooking. We are back in the kitchen again. Now, this is not a normal thing, guys. Honestly. And this is what I'm talking about. Brown stew salmon with vegetable. All right? You can't get this to buy in a no shop at the supermarket or wherever you are. Trust me. You have to make this at home yourself. Brown stew salmon. All right? Look at that, guys. That is just one of a kind. Chef Andre, good morning. All right, beautiful and nice. All right, yeah. So easy. Easy, 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 guys. Very, very easy. All right. Then get some of that beautiful gravy and a simple putty on top of it like this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is what I'm talking about. No meat, no rice, no pasta. All right? That is banning on the house from today. As from today, you don't need to buy pasta and rice. All right? Just buy some vegetable barley and, um, and all them things there. All right? Look at that, guys. Very super easy and delicious. All right? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. All you need to do is have some avocado and a scotch bonnet pepper. And you are good to go. On this beautiful plate right here. Loving me, Chipper Seven, but thank you so much. So good, thank you so much. Looking amazing, my type of plate. 100%. That's what I'm talking about. Now, is it this right over here, guys? Very nice to eat. This, as per, as, uh, can I call it name right? As per grass, I really want to call it. Now, that is very good for the ladies and for the men. Trust me. All of the ladies them need to eat that. All of the men them need to eat that because of vegetable, which is very good for the liver, for the kidney, and for the blood and for your health. Trust me, it's amazing. All right, for you guys to try that at home. Anyway, Nadine, thank you so much. Chef Andre, thank you so much. And the other rest of people who are just Beverly, thank you so much. Our oh, just thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Big up my TikTok audience and my Facebook audience. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. And my YouTube channel audience. I support to you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Now, I'm going to have to close the show because it's 30 minutes now. All right? Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. And Mother's Day. Happy Mother's to every one of the mothers them in the world. Big up on yourself. My respect goes for you. Have a beautiful day. And look after yourself and stay blessed. And I will see you next time with more recipe. All right? Thank you so much. Bless, thank you, Kevin. Ken, thank you so much for coming on the show. All right. What what did you season the vegetable with? Okay, um, what did I season the vegetable with? Um, I got a vegetable season right here. All right, this is a vegetable season. Um, I use sweet pepper, browning, um, mi um mixed peppers, browning. Um, I use pimento seed. I you know what I have to do, guys? I'd have to put the, all of the ingredients um, on below underneath the video, which I use because it's a, lot, a few, few things I use to make this up, all right? Um, but I can name them out if you want me to name them out. I use carrot, mixed pepper, garlic, white onion, ginger, and I use pimento seed. I use cloves. I use bay leaf. I use browning and light spray oil. So there's a quite a few things I use, but... The beautiful thing is, is to cook it naturally and I use um, vegetable stock, all right? I use vegetable stock for the flavor for it. Instead, I use salt and oil, I use vegetable stock, okay? Now, I want to say something to you. You can use whatever you have at home. The most important thing you're not cooking with any pasta or rice. You can cook it with some barley or you can use some couscous are vegetable what i say i'm using right here and that's the thing i want to preach to you guys you can have a lovely meal and have it with a lot of vegetable all right use a little bit of food browning not to make it too dark but light light dark brown like that what i'm having right here is to get you guys to stop eat junk food pasta rice and all of these crap is to cut out the crap and put in vegetables in your tummy all right we're not going to say you're going to eat vegetable for the rest of your life. But 
at least 90 percent of vegetable would be good for you okay that's what i'm trying to preach to you guys have a beautiful day here's the same. thank you so much have a beautiful day and stay blessed and i will catch you with another one all right guys bye